want you to close your eyes, put your mind back to the 15th of January in the year 2009. It's New York City. It's a cold winter's morning. Everyone is on their way to work. But, wouldn't this be a brilliant time for a miracle? Chesley Sullenberger and Jeff Skiles thought so too. Now, an Airbus A320 US Airways has just taken off from LaGuardia Airport on its way to Charlotte, North Carolina. As I've said, the captain was Chesley Sully Sullenberger. Sully, you may have heard the name before. And first officer, Jeffrey Skiles. Now, these two hadn't met in... ever, actually. US Airways being quite a large company, you fly with different crews all the time, as you do with quite large airline companies, as I said previously. So, they only met about three or four days before this incident. The problem with this was, is that they didn't actually know how well they did with each other and whatever, this, that and the other. So, what actually was US Airways 1549? Well, as I've said, it was a flight from LaGuardia to Charlotte, North Carolina. It was an Airbus A320. And it had two famous people on board. Now, as well as the first officer and the captain, there was three other crew members. I can't remember their names off the top of my head. And there was 150 people on board. Altogether, 155 passengers and crew. So, they take off from LaGuardia. All seems fine. Tower instructs them to take a left or right turn, depending on wherever they're going, to this North Carolina, and so on and so forth. So, after this, they're about 2,800 feet above the uh, Hudson. They're flying over New York City. All seems well. Just as Captain Sullenberger looks straight ahead, he sees a big flock of geese. Canadian geese, which are quite large birds. Um, so large, in fact, to bring down an entire aircraft. So, basically, um, he calls out, Mayday, 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 and he does the cam actions and whatever. At this point, it is now a very much, not a do or die situation, but a do I do this, that or the other situation. A lot of memory checklists, a lot of thinking is now going into this. Now, he originally thought that he could make it back to the airport, but it was quite evident that with a dual engine failure, he wasn't going to be able to do that. So, what did he do? Well, he saw this big body of open water, also known as the Hudson River, which runs right through the veins and heart of New York City. It was wide enough to put the Airbus A320 down, and it was safe enough and smooth enough for him to put the aircraft down as well. It is called a controlled ditch. It wasn't a uncontrolled ditch, because an uncontrolled ditch would just be plumbing the plane into the, uh, the river. This was a glide into the ocean. <laughs> ocean. River. He could have made it to an airport, or so the FAA thought. We'll get to that in a second. Sully brought the plane down into the Hudson, and this is why it has been given the name Miracle on the Hudson, because of all the 155 people on board that Airbus A320 US Airways Flight 1549, all 155 passengers survived. 50 of whom were injured, 5 of those were seriously injured, but they all lived to tell the tale of US Airways 1549, a miracle on the Hudson. Captain Sullenberger and obviously Jeffrey Skiles are still live to this day to tell the story. Um, if you haven't already, please do see if you can find Sully. It's probably on Netflix, you can go and buy a HMV. The other stores are available, of course, I just chose HMV because that's where I got my copy from. Go and watch it, because Tom Hanks does a brilliant impersonation and impression of Ch Chesley Sullenberger. He has a brilliant job. Um, there are a few details in it that are very realistic towards it. So I would definitely go and pick it up. So, let's... Let's come on to the FAA, the Flight Authority's Angulation, or whatever it is. So, Sully devised a meeting with the FAA and regulators and all of these people. Excuse me. And the NTSB, the National Transport Safety Board. I believe that's what the NTSB stands for. He brought all of these people together because they wanted to see and they wanted to point out that Sully was in the wrong, but he wasn't. 
they did computer simulations of that same flight and they said that they he could have landed the plane back at Teterboro Airport which was off to his 3 o'clock or LaGuardia which was back towards the other way he said that is incorrect he said you're looking for human error make it human then he said that those pilots aren't acting like humans he said that they have obviously been instructed to make a turn at a specific point we didn't know any of that we were right there in the moment they have been told no one said to us that at 2800 feet geese are going to fly into your engines have a dual engine failure and you are going to ditch into the Hudson no one told him that because if they did we certainly wouldn't have been there that day so they said alright what do you want us to do then he said I want you to add a delay that delay will mimic the delay that I had in my head before I started processing what was going on. A 15 second delay made the difference. With the landing at Teterboro, didn't work. The landing at LaGuardia, didn't work. So it showed that Captain Sullenberger was right all along. He knew he was right all along, but he had to show the world that he was right. He had to show the FAA and the NTSB. And that is why he is such a brilliant pilot and that is why I think we should all be thankful to him the passengers that were on board and to everyone that worked together that day to help make those people survive all 155 souls on board that plane stepped off that plane and all lived to tell the tale so please it's a bit of a weird one this because there's not many times that you hear of a ditching and you get to live to tell the tale Captain Sullenberger, go and read up about him. Jeffrey Skiles, go and read up about him. Go and read up about US flight, US Airways flight 1549 if you do. Um, I had all of my notes here, as you can see. Um, yeah, we'll ignore that. <laughs> this is about the eighth take of this I've taken, so uh, please do like and subscribe if you haven't already, and share this with your friends and your enemies if you so wish. I'm now on my tiptoes, you can't see me falling. So please, go like this, comment, think, tell me what you think of this video, it will be a great help to me. If you want to see more of these videos, also tell me again, that will be brilliant. I love making these videos, aviation is kind of my world now, it didn't used to be, you know, my channel used to be a variety, but now it's much more talking and it's much more excitement. So, please tell me if you want to see more of these kinds of videos, and if you know of any air crash investigations, please do tell me, because I would love to do them. So. Thank you for watching. My name has been Alex Shemelli, if I didn't already tell you. Thank you for stopping by at this channel, and we will see you again at LaGuardia Airport. Ciao, ciao for now.